In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a background from an image directly inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So for example, going from this image to this image. As always, if you do find this content useful, then please let me know by giving this video a like. So let's jump into PowerPoint and start the tutorial. When it comes to removing a background from an image in PowerPoint, there are generally two ways you can go about doing this. The first method is when you have an image on a background where the background is all the same colour. For example, in this image here, I have a picture of a leaf with an off-white background. Notice how the background colour is quite universal. This is compared with the other images I have on my other slides, which are quite complex. I'll come back to these in method 2 later on in the tutorial. OK, so to remove a clean and simple background from a main image, you need to firstly select the image, then go to the picture format ribbon at the top, then towards the left of the panel, select colour, then click on set transparent colour. Basically, you want to use this picker tool to click on the colour in the image that you want to remove. Because I want to remove this off-white colour in the background, I will click on this. Notice how PowerPoint has now removed all of that colour from the image I just selected. Now I'm just left with the main image. If for any reason you would like to restore the original image with the background included, simply select the picture and then go to Picture Format and Reset Picture. This will return the image to its original version. So that's the first method of removing a background from an image inside of PowerPoint. As mentioned, this works very well when you have a clean main image on a plain background. However, this isn't usually the case. For method two, I will now show you how to remove a complex background from an image such as this one. Here I have an image of a man holding a basketball. What I want to do is to remove the background and just have the man with the basketball left. To do this, I will select the image and again go to the picture format ribbon. Then on the far left, I will select remove background. After selecting this, PowerPoint will automatically try and remove the background for you. Anything that you see in pink will be removed and anything that isn't in pink will be kept. As you can see, there are parts of the image that are being removed that I want to keep. For example, the man's hat. To ensure this area is kept, click on the Mark Areas to Keep button in the top left. Then simply click and drag on the parts of the image that you want to keep. I want to keep the hat, so I will highlight this. I'll also repeat this for the other areas in the image that I want to keep. For any areas that you want to remove, simply click on the Mark Areas to Remove option. Then do a similar process and click on the areas you want to remove. When you're happy, simply click on the Keep Changes button. As you can see, the background has been removed from the image. If you'd like to modify your background selection, again with the image selected, go to the Picture Format ribbon and click Remove Background. Alternatively, if you'd like to reset the picture back to its original version, click on Reset Picture. So that's two methods on how to remove a background from an image in PowerPoint. And I'll give you some extra tips. For the first tip, I recommend that you crop your image after removing the background. After removing the background, you'll notice the image still shows the original size. So with the image selected, you can go to Picture Format and Crop to ensure the selected area is focused on the new image. This just makes it a bit easier to manage the image on the slide. Next, when you've removed a background from an image, you can sometimes be left with quite rough outlines. For example, I've removed the background from this model, and you can notice in particular that her skin is jagged. This is just an artifact introduced after removing the background. A trick here is that you can apply a soft edge effect to smooth out the edges a little. To do this with the image selected, go to Picture Format, Picture Effects, Soft Edges. Then mouse scroll over an option to see if it improves the look of your image. I'll select the 2.5 option for my image. You can now see the difference compared with the unsmoothed image on the left. For the last tip, when you're removing a background where you're setting a transparent colour, be careful when the background colour appears within your main image. For example, I have this cartoon image here of a tiger on a white background. If I set the transparent colour as white, as per the first method in this tutorial, it will also make the tiger's eyes, teeth and belly transparent too, since they are also white in the original image. So for this example, it may be more appropriate to do method 2, as shown earlier. 
And with that last tip, that brings me to the end of this tutorial. You now know how to remove a background from an image inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.